So, there is someone who has become very popular very recently, and that is a VTuber named Pippa. Pippa, I first heard about because they, when they had 2,000 followers on Twitch, they said um, that they liked the quickie, the Christian stuff, and they wanted to do a collab with me, and I was tagged for this. And I, and I said, um, doing a collab with a VTuber thing doesn't really sound like my jam. Uh, and then I saw at some point that Ash, Ken Ashcourt made a song about the person, the VTuber. They injected themselves into a drama. They showed up in Nick Ricada's channel, even because uh, Pippa made fun of Ethan Ralph after he got beat up in Portugal, and everyone thought, "Oh, that's interesting. It's like a VTuber girl who's like does the regular VTuber shit, but then she also talks about like e celebs and and poll stuff." And uh, people were like, "Oh, that's interesting." And then Ken Ashcourt made a song about about Pippa, which I'll play a little bit of. I played it before, but I'll play it again for a couple seconds. By the way, when this song was originally published, it had the name PPP without the eyes, and I thought it was a reference to, to PPP. And I have confirmed via archives that he has, in fact, changed the title of the song from three letter P's to three iterations of P.I. Because uh, he didn't want it to be associated with PPP. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, it's like, OK, so this is this is weird. It's like a person who likes the forum, who knows who I am, knows who Chris is, is involved in like East Lib shit and wants to take shots at Ralph. Okay, whatever. I should not get involved in this because anytime anime does anything, it is a disaster. Um, so now she is actually quite popular. She has a, a studio. It's Phase Connect. And I don't know anything about the different studios, but I think um, they're the ones that are not kosher with the Chinese. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's very the the main difference between the ones are like how big they are and if they require that the VTubers be good with the the Chinese because that's an important political thing. Um, so now she's up to forty thousand followers or subscribers on YouTube, twenty thousand followers on Twitter, and she is a very popular subject on the 4chan VTuber uh, board, which is uh, I'll get into detail with that. But the main issue when you become an internet celebrity. And this is a general rule of thumb, I would say, for everything, but especially women, is that your fans are both your lifeline and your biggest fucking problem. So we'll take a look at the VTuber thread. And there are many posts like this. This person says, I've been banned from the Pippa, and all I could think about is how to repent or killing myself. And this person has been active. This person is apparently known to the VTuber people as Henry, and he follows her everywhere on social media, begging to be unbanned. So... When you're a woman and you present yourself to the internet and you say, I want to be internet famous, part of that is the illusion of opportunity to all the pathetic, lonely people like this guy who think that there is a small, a small, even if it's totally infinitesimal, as long as it exists, people are satisfied by that. People, I mean, specifically men are satisfied by that chance. Uh, if they're the kind of the caliber of person to post on VTuber. There are some other, other posts uh, and they mentioned Zax. It occurred to me that while Kaiza is very famous in certain circles, no one ever discusses content was they usually mean. Sex with Zax. I want Zax to make me come with his feet. And then there's more Zax posting here. Actually, no. The Z okay, let me explain the Zax posting thing, actually. So VTuber, Fortune has a VTuber board. Uh, VTubers board the VTuber board, VT, is a cyst. Because the VTubers are not welcome on A, which is for anime, or V, which is for video games. So they had to make their own private containment board um, called VTubers. Then, in, in that, there is a general thread for Phase Connect VTubers, where Pippa posters are apparently not welcome because the people there view... Pippa as a cringe poltard election tourist and her her fans are like internet celebrity retards which is probably true 
So in the VTuber board, the PIPA people have to have their own thread. And then in that thread, there was a problem with people talking about Zax. Because VTuber people have to assume, and this is true with every single one of them, they all lie about being single or they just completely omit any discussion about boyfriends because they the guys have to think they have a chance with them that's a mandatory for the streamer audience thing with the vtubers so the guy posting that she had a boyfriend named zax and talking about how they're all cucks is very offensive to them so there was yet another containment thread for specifically talking about zax cucking the pippa people and this Zach's thread spurred the fans of Pippa, and one in particular, an anonymous person, I'm pretty sure, uh, did a full deep dive into the, into the history of Zach's to get to the bottom of if he is being cucked or not. And he found this stream. This is a female cat person avatar, but I believe the voice is of Zach's. And as I play, it's about 30 seconds, you'll hear another voice in the background. So... I don't have redeems or anything. I'm not affiliate. I'm not fancy. And, you know, I'm obviously not a partner. Like, some idiot out in the kitchen. But... I know, I just said that, but I'm glad you agreed to being an idiot. That is obviously... If you haven't heard it, that's Pippa talking in the background. Doing their, their Pippa voice. It's obviously like a put-upon voice. And not like how they talk naturally. And you can just tell that that is the background of his room. Um, So, clearly, this man lives with this woman. And there's no fucking way that a man and a woman live together like this and talk to the, each other in weird, silly anime voices unless they're banging. That is the rule. There are more clips like this where he alludes to, to having sex with Pippa. And it angers the VTubers. So the war is now on, and I will lay out the details from this point to the end, and you can make up your own mind if the information is correct. Uh, so, this guy uh, goes by the name Kazuya Kiba, and the important detail down here is that he says he speaks English and knows some French, and he is from the USA. So they find through this somehow, his fur affinity page, Dyer Kohana, where he is 26, male, based on like when they wrote this. Um, he's from North Carolina. He's a pansexual in a relationship, and he speaks English and French. He is in a relationship from July 12th, 2012, with this person named Sibyl Sibylla. This is Sibylla's page, and one of the drawings by Sibylla is this finnick fox over here there is a connection between this and someone named doll fox on um facebook and instagram doll fox was also a vtuber in 2018 before both the pippa and the cayuza stuff and this is another example uh the pink eyes and stuff there's some aesthetic similarities to the the pippa avatar which i'll show in a second and then there is a direct connection between the Sibylla account and the Forest Born Adopts page. The Adopts page is like it's in the furry community. It's a weird thing that they do, where they like buy OCs from each other. So, uh, in this exchange, this person named Pornography asks if waiting for the the receipt wants to know if in this receipt uh, Nicole Pinder or Nicolette Pinder is or Pinder. I don't I don't know how to how to say that. It's a very weird name. Nicolette Pinder, very distinct name by the way. Um, wants to know if that's it, and there's no response. But chances are he was correct because otherwise she would say no, right? So people look up Nicolette Pinder, and that also corresponds with this. Um, Pippa showed on stream that they were signing to Google. And they were using, they had the name Nicolette Pinder from uh, a lavette at uh, gmail.com. And people look up this very distinct name and find this picture of a uh, Jim Pinder and his family with a girl who's about the right age to be a VTubing female on the internet right now. So that is probably, or that is definitely Nicolette Pinder. And Nicolette Pinder is definitely. Pippa. Now there is a little bit more confusion here because uh, if based on this information, 
uh, considering that they got into a relationship on July 12th, 2012, and that the man, Zax, is 21 at that age, that would mean that Pippa was 13 when he was 19 and they met each other and via a furry community. So that means that she was groomed from a very young age while in the furry fandom. Furthermore, there is this picture of her when she would be about, uh, let's see, this is 2015. So the this picture would be from FurryCon 2015. This is tagged as being Sibylla. She confirms that it's her in the uh, comments. And that would mean that is Pippa Pitkins at the age of uh, 16, or sorry, 15 or 14 at a FurryCon in a steampunk fox thing. And uh, on the same alias, Doll Fox, there is an Instagram account with three pictures, and this is Pippa at 16. And if we do a little comparison between Pippa um, from this picture, if I can find it again, I am pretty sure that is the same person. Uh, the person who helped me put together this information for my stream disagrees. However, I'll zoom in. Um, she's more blonde hair. And I think that, number one, it's the contrast, and, sorry, no, you saw the joke too soon. <laughs> Forget that you saw that. It's the it's this contrast that darkens her hair, and it's normal for women's hair to become, for people's hair in general, to become less blonde as they get older. Uh, but the nose, the eyes, and the, the, I'm sorry, but the really big forehead are very, I would be shocked if this was not the same person, just looking at it, uh, considering all the, um, other similarities so someone photo i already spoiled this but someone photoshopped her avatar to have a forehead reminiscent true to life and uh, that's what happens when you're you're internet famous i guess people bully you <laughs> relentlessly uh so congratulations you are now uh famous on the online just like jim mediker and all, all the other people uh however if you're not if you feel bad uh, I, don't, I don't. Based on what I'm seeing in chat, I don't think anybody feels bad. But the people who want to believe that Pippa is an innocent, pure virgin and doesn't have a giant forehead will continue to believe that. Just like with Jim, it, Jim had like his docs has been 1,000 percent fucking confirmed. People still deny it because they want to deny it. So the people who want to believe it will believe it. The people who don't want to believe it will continue to say those Malding Kiwi trannies got it wrong yet again. And uh, nothing of consequence will ever happen. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.